Well, we're off. Once again, like a herd of turtles, we're on our way to Blue Compass RV in Palm Desert, California. Today, we have an all-access pass granted to us by Will, the general manager of the store. We're going to be touring the Brinkley 4000G toy hauler. I cannot wait. If this place looks familiar to you, it's because it should. I've done several videos here in the past, and it's under new ownership now. And they're kind enough to let me continue my search for our new to us RV. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you let me know in the comments what you think and what you see here today. Well, there she is in all her glory. Okay guys, we are here, we are doing it. We finally got back to the RV store to see a Brinkley. This is my wife's dream RV. And mine is if I have to get a fifth wheel type. But you know me, I want my Canyon Star. If I can get the Canyon Star, more than likely a year or two used. That would be my dream come true. But this is not a bad second place winner. This is the Brinkley 4000 G. I don't see the G, but it's a toy hauler. Oh, there it is. Brinkley 4000 G. It's gorgeous. Man, I'll tell you, this is awesome. And then they have their little cooler here. There we chill. I don't see that. I was gonna say that. I thought that was chilly. Very nice though. I like it. So you can see all of your controls, your awning controls, Bosky, water purifier, all your access, storage. Come over here, I mean you can. I'm trying to figure out how you can get a kayak in there. But those doors there, they come down. And then you can wall off this section right here. Here's your main disconnect, solar disconnect. But I mean, you got some serious storage going on here. I like it. Got a 5500. Lithium batteries going on here. Generator. Awesome. Very cool. What kind of flex, flex power. Flex power 5500i. The other tank. And there's your wet bay. I think that's what they call a Nautilus. Uh, not 100%. Oh, yeah, it is. Nautilus. <laughs> there we go. Here's the other side of your doors. They flop. That's pretty good. It's pretty cool. You just section that off. And that opens up over there. This is nice. Oh my god, this is so nice. There you go. Beautiful. All your goodies and gizmos. And 
another tray. Nice ladder. There's your power cord wheel. Your suburban furnace. And I don't know, that's an on-demand water heater. Don't know the make. Wonder if it's a suburban. There's your leveling. Awesome. I like how they already have the uh, 90 degree angle attachments on there. It really helps out. Oh yeah, I already saw what's in there. Okay. Man, I'll tell you. There's your air pump and your gas pump. Fuel dispensing switch. This is just top shelf workmanship. Yeah, I mean that's still, that's still a steep little drop, although this thing is fully up on its, I mean the wheels are off the ground. So if this were not fully extended on the, on the jacks, it would be a good six inches lower, thus decreasing this height here to here, making it le less of a, you know, a steep angle. But because, because these wheels are just barely touching, you put this down on its suspension, the way it's designed, if you just pull up to a campsite, it'll be a few inches lower naturally. I, I venture to say this would be probably at this position, and then you would drop it down, creating a, a better slope. That's what I'm praying for anyway. I really want to know if they are using Yep, there they are. Sumo springs. Right there. Okay. So I mentioned the sumo springs because oh, there's the other one over there. I mentioned the sumo springs because my friends Larry and Alice with downsizing makes sense, like the penny sense. Um, they have a grand design, or they had a grand design that was recently totaled out because the frame, it wasn't a frame flex situation that's very popular in the RV news today. It was, uh, it was a catastrophic failure and it was determined that the sumo springs were the cause. And that's your sumo spring right there. All right, let's go check out the inside. Inverter. Wow. There is just, you feel it. You feel it when you walk in. Four burner stove top. Ah, very nice. And oh, I do that for my wife's benefit. And here we have a GE suite of appliances. GE profile. I think that's a convection. Yep. Very nice. Not a bad it's an oven. You notice the dovetail joints.
Oh, uh, okay, I see. You can put stuff underneath there as well. I don't, I don't see the, don't really see the benefit of that. But I'm sure my wife does. She'll have to tell me. Big spot for paper towels. I could get used to this. Ooh. This couch feels nice. It is sure cozy. Firm. I need a firm, I need a firm sitting situation. Cause I'm getting old. <laughs> it's kind of compact though. I mean, you know. There's the other one that has the double-sided cushions. I gotta figure out which one that is. Right. Very nice. Adjustable shelves. You really do feel the quality. So once you lower this ramp, you got this little thing here. And there's a tool bin. Power cord for something. But that's got that little, that's got that little ramp effect right there so when you lower this down to the ground it'll come up at a better angle than the canyon star but uh, oh look at those speakers right there this is set up to be a party wagon that's for sure but yeah <clears throat> i'm thinking uh i should be able to get her in here with this drop down and that seam right there, giving it that one last little push over the little hitch in the get along. I think that'll do her. But this is a nice feeling. I'd like to get that down. like to operate those beds for you but I have not been signed off on this control panel yet <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wait for uh, another time once I learn a little bit what you don't want to do is go messing around with something you can't put back in the original position so okay You can watch these videos all day on YouTube and these things feel so big that you get here and this is still a great size. I'm six foot tall. I like this. This has certainly got my Canyon Star shower beat. This fits. 
as you can see, I'm straight out there. I'm still underneath. Very slight little step into it. And this is some solid cabinetry. I mean, that's got some heft to it. Nice little trash can. Now, it sure is a different sensation when you're in these rooms. Because again, I'm six foot tall. There's good six and a, there's good seven, eight inches between me and the ceiling. But look at here. same depth as uh, I guess they would have to be. Secret storage place. Now, laundry hamper. And your water hookup. This really is a nice unit. They have covered, checked all the boxes. I believe this is a clean, great storage underneath. Very nice. That's a wrap, people. What'd you think of this Brinkley 4000G? I like it. And I hope you liked it as well. Please let me know in the comments. And as always, when you're out on the road, especially on these motorcycles, be careful. Be careful.